This video is about the humanistic approach to AI in education, the third module in the course Artificial Intelligence for Educators. The video focuses on how AI and data literacy can be best exploited for the common goods in education. In this AI age, the collaboration between human and machines makes the world become better than each of these working alone. In this AI age, the collaboration between human and machines. This approach involves using AI to enhance rather than replacing human capabilities. Shifting to augmented intelligence leads to an emphasis on developing AI technologies that complement and expand human cognition. However, AI and other digital frontier technologies may incur threat to some manpower. This is especially those who will get implications due to their unreadiness to upskill or reskill themselves to enter the new occupations made possible by AI. UNESCO has released a guide on the ethics of AI. This is because AI systems raise new types of ethical issues. These are the list of ethical issues that include but not limited to their impact on the decision making, employment and labor, social interaction, healthcare, education, media, access to environment, digital divide, environment, personal data and consumer protection, rule of law, security and policy, democracy, dual use, and human rights. Areas of quality actions should cover the ethical impact assessment, ethical governance and stewardship, data policy, development and international cooperation, besides seven other areas, the environment and ecosystems, looking at the policy in terms of gender, culture, education and research, as well as the communication and information, economy and health and well-being. Furthermore, there are new forms of ethical challenges. This covers the ability specifically of the AI algorithm's potential to reproduce and reinforce existing bias. And this exacerbates already existing forms of discrimination, prejudice and stereotyping. Therefore, some of the steps to be done should be to be able to look at the characteristics of these AI systems, its new role in human practice and society, as well as in their relationship with environment and ecosystem, creating a new context for children and young people to grow up and to develop an understanding of the world and themselves critically, to understand the media and information and to learn to make decisions and risk on people and society as well as on, on the environment. It is also very crucial according to this guide to foster the human values needed to develop and apply AI. The UNESCO guide also emphasized on the potential tension between market rewards and human values, skills and social well-being to always be analyzed and that the values that prioritize people and environment should be defined over the efficiency and human interaction over human to machine interaction. Also, to focus on the broad corporate and civic responsibility to address critical social issues and very importantly, to ensure that people remain at the core of education. Given the implications for the labor market, employability, and civic participation, living in digitalizing societies now require emerging roles of educators. This covers new educational practices, ethical reflections, critical thinking, and responsible design practice and new skills. 
The second new role by the educator is to assist in public understanding and awareness of AI technologies as well as the value of data. This can be implemented through open and accessible education, civic engagement, digital skills and AI ethics training, and media and information literacy and training. Therefore, the role of educator is either to become advocator themselves or to training the generations of the students so when they go out, they will be able to contribute to the society. It is also very important for the educator to be clear of their role on the understanding of AI impacts. And this should cover and be grounded around, through, about and for the human rights and fundamental freedoms as well as the environment and ecosystems. An educator also plays a role to be able to collaborate with different stakeholders throughout the AI system life cycle to enable the benefits to be shared by all through inclusive approaches to AI governance and to contribute together to the sustainable development. Lastly, the use of AI in education should be to help the learning process without impairing cognitive abilities or extracting sensitive information. This is in, in accordance with applicable personal data privacy rules. It is also forbidden to misuse, misappropriate or criminally exploit the data acquired during the learner's interactions using the AI system. We can conclude that as AI becomes increasingly integrated into education, the role of the educator becomes more important to understand the AI, to promote the ethical use of AI, to develop curriculum, to teach students about AI and its implications for society, as well as the educator's role to collaborate with other stakeholders and in their own continuous learning. Thank you.